In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can raise a request on behalf of a customer. On the left side, you can see I'm currently logged in and I can see a view of the queues where all the customers are logging their tickets. On the right side, you can see I'm logged in as Bud Lightyear into the customer portal. And he obviously has access to various portals. So back on the left side, as a service desk representative, I can click on raise a request, which opens up the customer portal. I can click on the request area, select an issue type, and then there's a section here that says raise this request on behalf of, and there's a pull down. Now we'll just select Buzz Light here. I'd paste in a summary, type in a description of the problem, and I have a choice of sharing with my company, which is Virgin Galactic, and I can click send. So now the ticket's been sent. If you look where it says shared with, it's got here, Bud Lightyear is the creator of the ticket. He shared it with his fellow colleagues at Virgin Galactic. And now if I go over to Bud Lightyear's um, portal and just hit refresh, if I go to the requests now and say created by me, I can see that this engine light warning demo 7 has been created by me. And that's how you create a ticket on behalf of the customer. Now, if I just go back one screen and I am the customer, and I go and raise a request, you'll see the difference is I only see summary, description, and the attachment, and the, and the send button. But when it's from a person or an internal user of Jira and they raise a request, yes, they can raise a request for themselves if they leave the screen as it is. If I raise a request now, it's going to be under my name, but they have the choice to then raise it on behalf of other people. And that's how you do it.